What's up YouTube, it's Austin Ryan, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to consist of something that not a lot of people are knowledgeable on and probably should be educated about it. That's deload week. Deload week is something that a lifter should take every now and then just to help their body out. I'll go further into detail on this during the video, but first I want to show you guys the clips from today's push day. It is a deload week for myself right now and that's why I'm making this video to educate you guys on what I once wasn't educated on as well. Even though it is my deload week, I actually ended up maxing out on my bench, so I figured that I would show you guys these clips from today's videos just so you can kind of get an idea of what a deload week should look like and then what a deload week shouldn't look like. Let's be honest though, when the weight starts feeling light, you just want to keep going heavier and heavier and sometimes you can't help yourself. Okay, here's a close from today's push day and I will talk to you guys here in a second. I wanted you to race my mind. All this, I missed it. What's going on everybody? Um, I feel like shit right now, but that's yeah, the days you gotta come the most. So today we are doing a deload week chest exercise, chest set, bench set, I guess. So that's what we're doing today. I probably won't work up too heavy today just because I feel like shit, but we'll see where we get to. So light. Who is that? Never mind. I thought I. I'm just gonna work on pause sets, probably. Go. Yup. Good. So we're doing a deload week. Basically, what a deload week is, you do the same amount of intensity, just a lower set or lower sets, depending on what you want to do. But yeah. Usually we go as high as we can on bench, but today I'm probably only going to do like four sets and go from there. So I'll explain more what a deload week is later in the video, but that's what a deload week is. It's just really hard to grow. I was growing a lot faster for a while, but. The SIBO video was cool. Yeah, the SIBO video really blew up my account for the first, like, it it got me my first 10K, I'd say. And then from there, from there, I got 10K from there, and then yeah, I got the 20K after that. Come on, I'm here if you need me. Go, 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 go. Come on. Go, push, 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 up, 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 racket. Good. Yep, that was good. 185. Huh? 185. Four. I wanted three. Go. Come on. Racket, racket. Yep. Good. Are you going for max? I don't know. Did, didn't that feel light? I did it without my. I know. That's what I'm saying. It felt really light. Push. I'm here if you need me. Go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. Up. Good. Good. Try. Get it up. <laughs> Drive! <laughs> Come on. Racket. Good. Come. Okay. I'm letting go now. Come on. Well, you better get five. You better get five. Go. Drive. Come on. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Go. Push. 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 Go for it. We're here. Come on. Drive, drive, right, drive, 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 drive. Go. Up, 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 up. Good. Great rep. I'm going to give this to you just in case I like something happens. Did you die? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You have to get this up because I'm not even going to bother putting this down. Here. Drive, drive, move it along. <sighs> Good job. That made me happy. That moved a lot faster than I thought it was going to move, so. Wow, that moved way faster than I thought it was going to move, actually. Fuck. 
Come on, come on. Go. Good. Go. Ready? I'm here. Come on. Go, go, press. Another one. No? No. We can go up. Go, 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 go. Good. So what is the true definition of a deload week? Typically, a deload week is when you are training regularly and your body really needs a break. A lot of people just can't stay out of the gym is basically what I'm saying. I'm actually going to bring you guys over to the computer. That way we can actually look at some more facts and stats to prove why a deload week could honestly be more beneficial to you than just keep lifting over that rest week. Okay, on to the computer we go. So basically, like I had said, when you start overtraining, and not technically overtraining, but when you start training at a plateau to where none of your goals are going any higher, then a deload week is something that could be beneficial for you. Technically, the way that I format my deload weeks is I have a six to eight week schedule or like a six to eight week program. And then at the end of that, I just take one deload week and then I go on to my next schedule. So for example, right now, I just finished my eight week program and I'm currently on my deload week. The way me and my friends are formatting our deload week is instead of four sets or five sets for something, we just go down one set. We keep the same amount of intensity and the same amount of reps. You may need more than that or you may need less than that. It just depends on how you feel your body needs for recovery. There's also some other factors that you can throw into the mix when doing a deload week that will help you with recovery a little bit faster than others as well. For example, if you really want to test yourself, something that I do is I do a five minute cold shower every morning and at night. They're just a great overall thing for mental, physical, any type of health for your body. Another thing you can do is cupping. If you don't know what cupping is, uh, I can. I have a kit, let me, let me grab it. Okay, so a cupping kit is basically just these suction cups that you will put on your body and then you kind of use a like suction gun. What cupping does is it applies pressure to the points of your body that are actually really tight and it actually ends up loosening out those muscles. I do this a lot, but a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do like it. I like it a lot because it helps me with my muscle recovery, but it might not help you as well. Anyways, let's go back to some of the benefits for our deload week. Also, another way that these could be formatted, the way that we do it as well, is we have a deload week, and then right after, we have a max week. The reason for this being is because for the first benefit of having a deload week is you actually let your body fully recover, not just be on a semi-recovery while you're still training it. When you're constantly training over and over again, your body never gets a chance to fully heal. So by lowering the amount of sets or not even working out for a week can honestly just help your body fully recover. And that's why we have a max week the next week because your body is fully ready to go for whatever weight it's ready to handle. It gives your central nervous system time to recover. It gives your muscles and your joints a little bit more time to recover as well. Some people don't even do a deload week. Some people do deload two weeks, like a bi-weekly thing. Uh, some people don't even need one, but I think everybody should have one, especially just after eight to 10 weeks. Just take a slight rest off and then just hit it really hard when you get back into it. A deal of week can also be used as a mental reset when you need it. Sometimes when you're constantly pounding your body with these heavy weights and just throwing yourself, at, throwing your body at whatever it could take, sometimes it's a lot on your mental and sometimes you just need a reset of that mentality. And it also is really good for maximizing your long-term like muscle potential. Giving your body a chance to fully recover will also help it grow more believe it or not. You've probably heard how the easy part is the working out and the hard part is about the eating and the recovery. And it's, it is true. Sometimes the hardest part is staying outside of the gym because it's not as fun as doing the things that you could do when you're in there. Kind of a quicker video here. I just wanted to educate people on what a deload week is because there was one point in my life where I didn't know what a deload week was either. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you're updated every time I post a video on this page. And also so you can give me suggestions on what type of content you want to see like this here in the near future. If you guys have any questions on a deload week, just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer those as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.